Hi, in this video I am going to look at AWS CloudFormation and AWS CDK by showing some examples and making comparisons. AWS CloudFormation and AWS CDK define cloud infrastructure as code. Each service does it in its way. CloudFormation allows us to create cloud resources using text files known as templates in JSON or YAML format and deploy them in AWS. You can define templates using Infrastructure Composer. On the screen, there is a simple template to create an EC2 instance. Templates are declarative. Declarative means that you describe the desired state of infrastructure, not how to create it. Let's create a template. Click on Next, enter name and go Next. Next. Finally, submit the creation. Wait while your EC2 instance is being created. Our instance has been created. To delete the instance, delete your CloudFormation stack. What is the AWS CDK? The AWS Cloud Development Kit is an open-source software development framework for defining cloud infrastructure in code and provisioning it through AWS CloudFormation. You define your resources imperatively using general-purpose programming languages. The imperative approach means that you tell the system how to do something step by step. You can specify the logic or sequence necessary to reach the desired state using the imperative approach. For example, you can use if statements or conditional loops that determine how to reach a desired end state for infrastructure. Let's look at the example. I've already installed and prepared AWS CDK on my computer. Instructions on how to do it yourself are written in the files attached in the description of the video. In the example, I am using Python. This simple program creates an EC2 instance with T2Micro type and uses an existing VPS security group and role. Before creating the stack with the EC2 instance, you have to execute the CDK bootstrap command. Bootstrapping prepares your AWS environment by provisioning specific AWS resources in your cloud that are used by the AWS CDK. After execution, you will see the CDK toolkit stack in your cloud formation. As you may have noticed, I completed the bootstrapping earlier. Let's deploy the stack. To do this, execute the command cdk deploy. EC2 app stack has been created. Let's look at our instance. Here it is. Good. We've created an EC2 instance using CloudFormation and AWS CDK. We are ready to compare these tools. Before moving on, delete the stack using the cdk destroy command. CloudFormation uses JSON or YAML templates. The AWS CDK uses modern programming languages such as TypeScript, Python, Go and so on. CloudFormation uses a declarative approach, while the AWS CDK uses an imperative approach. CloudFormation directly processes and deploys templates. The AWS CDK prepares CloudFormation templates and deploys them. CloudFormation is straightforward for simple infrastructure but can become verbose for complex setups. The AWS CDK is more concise and flexible for complex infrastructure. CloudFormation is easier for beginners. The AWS CDK requires programming knowledge and familiarity with the reference documentation. CloudFormation directly maps to AWS resources. The AWS CDK uses constructs that represent one or more AWS CloudFormation resources and their configuration. To conclude, you should use CloudFormation for static, simple or highly standardized setups and CDK for dynamic, complex or developer-centric environments. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you. Goodbye.